Sawa D. Krupp, and hello, welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. I'm your host Greg, the Frozen Food Master, and right behind me is the popular Ring Ping Supermarket here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. As you can see, it's a very rainy afternoon here in Thailand. We're going to go inside, take a look at what a freezer aisle in a Thailand supermarket looks like, and maybe even find a product to review. It's all coming up in this episode of Freezer Burns. If you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Chiang Mai, Thailand the largest, most culturally significant city in northern Thailand, and like most Asian cities, an area with not much frozen food variety. The Rimping Supermarket is an upscale market in Chiang Mai that had just this one freezer aisle. It had American staples like Amy's, Alexia, and toaster strudels. But it also had its unique items playing up to the local Thai audience. Things like sushi ingredients, mutton meals, and the head scratcher of the day, tuna pizza. I wanted to try something that was clearly Thailand. I think I found the perfect item. Okay, so we are now under shelter because it started to pick up on rain. And I purchased from the Ring Ping supermarket this, which I believe is ice cream. I don't know for sure, but it was in an aisle that looked like ice cream. The reason why I'm not sure is because it is all written in Thai. Based on this image, it looks like corn and gummy worm ice cream. It's got these bright yellow, what I believe are corn kernels, which is corn, sweet corn is very popular as a dessert item here in Asia. It mixed in in vanilla ice cream, but then there's these little green things. Maybe it's fruit, maybe it's gummies, we don't know what it is. We're gonna open this up and see how it tastes. Here's how it looks opened up. Again, I have no idea what this green stuff is. I'm gonna take a spoon and try to take that out. It doesn't smell like vanilla ice cream. Let's see how it tastes. It is not a very sweet ice cream at all. Um, interesting consistency. I definitely taste some coconut in it. Um, it's, it's not vanilla, or if it is a vanilla, it's a very, like, very little vanilla bean type flavor. It definitely is corn, but I still don't know what the green is. We're gonna try to find someone that can speak Thai and tell us what that is. This was 60 baht for this whole tub, which is approximately two US dollars. This is again is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the ice cream that I still don't know the name of because it's still in Thai. However, we were we asked around and found out that this green stuff is actually a local Thai melon, much like a honeydew. So this is corn and honeydew ice cream. It's made by a company from Unilever. Again, it's 60 baht, which is roughly two dollars US. I think that it's a very um, subtle taste by American standards, by Asian standards. It's actually a very sweet dessert, very creamy, interesting packaging, very inexpensive. I give this probably a four or three and a half out of five star. As always, I'm your host Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns here from Chiang Mai, Thailand, and I'll see you next time.